All right, what's up guys? Uh, it's the end of the season. Well, I should correct that. What's up guys and the 1% of ladies out there that make up the demographic of YouTube out there. But <laughs> anyway, um, it's the end of the season here. It's March and I thought I'd do a little walk around of my hunting rig and maybe that'll give you guys some ideas of what you can uh, maybe work toward or um, ideas to change and modify yours in the off season before next season. So let's uh, check it out. I'll grab the camera here. We'll do a little walk around of what all I have. So I have a, it's a 2016 uh, Toyota Tacoma. I've got it lifted on 33 inch tires, 285, 70, 17s. I uh, don't know the offset, but um, had to do the uh, frame cut in order to fit them well enough. Um, buddy was uh, kind enough to help me with that one. Um, the I've got just more cosmetic stuff than anything. I replaced the uh, grill with a Pro to get rid of the chrome crap. Um, paint's starting to fade. Not sure if I'm just going to leave it or replace it uh these i've been had been wanting forever i've had them on there about a year year and a half ditch lights they are awesome as far as when you're off road coming around corners they're perfect uh just as the i would say one of the better upgrades that you can make uh to your truck um other than that not many upgrades i do have um i don't know if you can see let's see so these I put a um, aftermarket upper control arm on here with these uniball um, joints, ball joints, and I would tell you not to do that. They are a lot of upkeep. You've got to continually grease them in order to keep the squeak out of them. If you don't, you go through water. So after about a year or two, it just gets real bad. So going around the back. Um, like I said, all it is is an Adelaide. I'm about due. I'm close to 100,000 miles on this thing. So I'm about due for, um, I'm probably going to replace the spring setup and shocks in front um, just to get it back in tune, just replacement. But uh, in the back, we've got, I rigged up a spare tire mount. So this goes through the spare tire. I uh, added a channel. So the Tacoma's come with a channel um, along here on the bed rails and you can add another one on the uh, front at the uh, next to the bed. I did that, I added the front, um, which allows me to bolt other things to it. One of which being the spare tire. So a lot of the weight, most all the weight is sitting on the floor and all this is doing is just keeping it from falling over. So there's not a whole lot of stress or strain because this bed is just plastic. So that's really the only thing that's bolted through to it. But I uh, have the lock on there to keep people from um, keeping it. Uh, I also have here a, uh, these are mounts. I got them on each side for e-bikes. Um, wife got uh, the idea to get some e-bikes. And so I took advantage of it and we mounted them here um, on the back in order to Mount the back side, we have, oh, oh, there we go. Thought I lost my camera. Um, these mounts, which I fabricated, I bought the um, bed, what are they called? Bed um, reinforcement brackets uh, to kind of stiffen them up, bread stiffeners, whatever the heck they are. And then I welded on this piece that I kind of fabricated, a piece of angle iron, and just some uh, rectangular tube steel um, in order to mount the uh, e-bikes. So uh, there's a plastic piece, aftermarket uh, piece to mount the tire to, and it slides on here, tightens down. Um, in the back, so I stole this from Jeff Nimnick. Uh, he had posted something online I saw, but there are these mats and they're called dura flat i think is right um anyway they're for like uh, chicken coops and whatnot but they do awesome to keep the blood and whatnot out from underneath uh from touching the rest of your stuff so you've got your coyotes on here elevated the blood goes to the the bottom but when you 
put your stuff, like say in this rack, all the blood stays down below, and so you don't get packs or whatnot, um, bloody and muddy and gross. So uh, that has been an awesome, awesome uh, upgrade. Um, so I, I tuned it up. I think they're about 25 bucks a piece. I, uh, if you can see over here, I had um, cut the one down, they interlock. They interlock on themselves, as you can see, kind of right there. They interlock on themselves, but then I cut it to fit in the wheel wells. And because I have these bed stiffeners here, it keeps it from coming out. So it's pretty much locked in there. It's as far forward as the tire, so it's not really going anywhere. Um, let's see, what else we got here? The separator is the other thing. So once you have all your stuff in the front, and you put coyotes in the back, they still can roll forward and get all over your stuff. So um, I got this bed divider here and it's perfect. When I don't and not hunting, I can take it and slide it forward and put all the Home Depot crap that you get um, and need to get for home fixings um, in the back of the truck. The On the other side here for accessories, um, again, I have the bike mount here. The CO2 tank. Now this thing is awesome. Um, debated for a while on going CO2 or onboard air. Heard negative things about the onboard air just with leaks and whatnot. And I didn't want to have to continually um, mess with that. So what we have here is a 10 pound, I think is what it is, CO2 tank. It's a cheap Smitty built, the cheapest one you can get. Took the other BS that comes with it on there. Got the regulator, so this is the um, regulator that comes with it the smitty built regulator and what i did is i took some galvanized pipe and um ran it along let's see if i can get the camera figured out here um ran it along the back edge here and with those mounts in the back um on the back bed rail here i was able to uh, mount some offset brackets. You can see these brackets right here. Let's see. These brackets right here. It's a piece of unistrut that I welded off to a piece of flat stock that's then um, stuck right there. It's a piece of flat stock there that's uh, bolted to that bracket and it stiffens this thing up so it's not moving. Um, I got a piece of flex coming off of that regulator tied in. I used thread locker i saw somebody online talk about using thread lock for um, air joints and i haven't had a single leak this thing is set at like 200 psi so i've been running this for two years now i think it is and um it's been just perfect so uh you get it on one side why i did it i guess let's go back here why i had done it um, you've got a connection here, a quick connect for your air hose, which I have in the back seat. I'll show you that here in a second. And then it's on both sides. So you can hook up here, have a short run so you don't have a bunch of hose that you're dealing with. And, uh, that keeps things tidy, neat, and you don't have to be stringing out a bunch of hose. Um, I leave, when I'm calling, I leave my stool in the back here. I have a couple of them just so that in case I've had it before where a screw comes out or whatever and they uh, um, you're left uh, to deal without a screw or without a seat. So I always carry a spare there. Obviously the cooler in the back here for um, all your beverages and then all the trash just ends up in the back of this uh, kind of area which is good and keeps it away from the, the coyotes and is easy to clean up and it's all in kind of one spot. So, um, let's look at the, go inside and kind of see what I have. All right, so going inside, here's what I have for my setup uh, inside. So, you're constantly in and out of the truck when you're hunting coyotes, right? Um, aside from slippers that shouldn't have been, that I'm waiting to put on end of my day here. Uh, I have a separate video on what I made up here. It's a magnet mount for my uh, gun. And then... This sits here, the Fox Pro um, bag with the Fox Pro in it. I got drone and miscellaneous chargers and everything on this bag. Usually I'm wearing that um, 
miscellaneous crap hanging out here. But this is kind of the, the setup that I'm running. Um, I can easily just grab this, pull it out, and then when I put it back, it just bink, is right back on there. So really quick, easy, all the bumps and whatnot that I hit, it doesn't um, seem to matter. I've only lost it twice in the uh, this whole season. This is the first time this season is the first time I've had it, and I've only lost it twice on some crazy stuff we hit, bumps and whatnot. So um, everything's been really good. I uh, leave this seat down, so this uh, the seat's obviously up, and then you get a little extra depth of space here um, to put this, and it kind of fits just well, you know, with everything. Behind the seat is where I keep the regulator, or regulator, the uh, air hose and um, valve. So that sits right there, nice and easy. Goes back, and like I said, there's not a bunch of hose you have to deal with. So that's about it. Um, I Oh, here we go. Forgot about this. I do have a net. I don't know if you can see how well, see, get the... This shot here. So the roof of this vehicle has this net, and the name of it is Wrangler. Let's see if we can get a shot of that Wrangler um, nets. And it took like 10 weeks in order to get it, but once I got it, um, it was also kind of a pain in the butt in order to mount it. It's mounted, you have to take all this bracketry out and then drill a couple holes to mount this piece. And then the back side is just literally hooked. You can see barely hooked right there, but I've been running it. It's awesome to just throw your jacket in so you don't have crap all over the place, um, you know, hanging out and on top of your gear. It just keeps things a little more tidy. Uh, and that's just a new addition. I literally got that like a month ago. So that's a new one. I do keep. And then everything. And then I keep my um, extra ammo box right here. This is kind of like your after your, the stands when you're shooting all them coyotes. You need to reload. And that's where I keep that. Up front, we have um, not a whole lot to see here. Really the only thing. Um, that I've done differently, if you say that, is I added a, um, on, I don't know, an aftermarket dash, so this is a bigger screen, and I'm able to put the Onyx on there, um, which is awesome to go around coyote hunting. Um, it, uh, just makes things a lot easier to pick in stands and whatnot. I do have another magnet here for my phone, in case I want to use that. Um, oh, while we're in here you can see, you see these like um, uh, shade uh, sections here. So I've got obviously the, the normal on top, but I added this on the bottom for when you're driving, you have these floodlights. The thing I've always hated is like that glare that you get with them. So I added that uh, tinted shade piece so that it cuts down on all the, the shine you get off the hood of your truck. Um, which really helps a lot. I, I was kind of annoying and I was debating even using them or pulling them off when I first got it. I added those in there and the thing is just awesome now. So I think that's about it um, as far as the truck and walk around. Hopefully you can hear me. It's gotten windy and that's why I'm kind of ending my day right now. Um, we've done pretty well this last trip here, but uh, I want to end this season on a high note and so we're going out. But I think that's it for the uh, walk around. Um, as far as things I may do down the road, um, I debated putting bigger tires and wheels and lifting it, but I think it just makes it harder to get in and out of your vehicle. Um, and you don't really gain a whole lot with it. Tires are more expensive. There's like so many, there's a lot of drawbacks to it and not a whole lot of advantages. So I think uh, I might just stick with these tires at the 285 70 17s um but we'll see i mean there's always this is eventually just going to become the hunting rig i'll get a new truck here in another year or two and uh i'll probably have this for years and years to come so um yeah hopefully that gave you a couple ideas maybe for yourself and hey guys real quick i just want to jump in and uh i forgot to say it out there but 
I've got more videos coming. I'm working on them right now. Um, I've got an instructional video kind of showing um, stand breakdown. And then I've got videos with Charlie and I um, in Coyote Central Arizona. Jeremy Bailey and Stacey Morris and I head down uh, south to hunt coyotes. I've got other videos coming. I'm working on them. I'm editing them. Um, be patient. I know it's end of season. I'm just getting these things out of here, but uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it for you. Stay tuned for those. Um, thanks.